Hey, what's up, y'all? We're gonna weather this roof on the boxcar real quick. Cool? Come on, let's go. Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel once again for another week of something Wayman's gonna do. First, let me thank all the people that's coming through, the new people, old people, y'all hanging out with me. This is pretty cool. I appreciate y'all for real. Um, like, comment, subscribe, eh, subscribe, and all that jazz, right? Um, so we're gonna do this, uh, just the roof of a box car really quick. My man KB, he gave me the, uh, he commented actually on one of the uh, other post and was like hey you should do the roof of a box car and we're gonna do a roof of a box car real quick so without further ado let's do the roof of the box car all right folks so just got a uh prime for grime uh rail box car here that i'm going to weather the roof So I am going to my uh, trusty salt method for a little bit of it. And uh, what I'm doing here is uh, just wetting the roof with water. Using my fingers, I think later, kind of uh, in the middle of this box car, I used a, a, just a regular paintbrush to, to wet it, but your finger will work just fine. Um, here you can see I'm sprinkling some of that salt on there. And so those were two different types of salt. Um, one I think was a kosher and the other was just regular table salt. And the difference is the, the size of the granules. So you can get that variety of different types of sizes of uh, rust, if you will how it mask it so that's all the salt is doing it's a masking technique you can use toothpaste you can use a masking type of liquid i guess it's liquid mask honestly and yeah here's the uh, whole roof uh, cover with salt in certain areas um I, I actually tried to purposely you know put salt in certain areas but nothing that it needs to be science or anything. Um, I dusted it off with my airbrush with a little bit of, I think it's dark rust is what I was using for that color. Um, and yeah, airbrushed it very lightly just to get a base coat going. And uh, here I'm just rubbing that salt back off of there and you can see the uh, masking that the salt has done so wherever the salt is obviously is where the paint isn't going to stick um, and i just love this process um, as i was <laughs> doing this um i thought you know however your layout is nine times out of ten and it's usually it's that one out of the 10 that you know someone's layout is at eye level but you are still looking at the top of the box cars and engines and all that stuff a lot and so you know the top of the box car should probably be focused on a lot you know just so if you're going for um you know authentic looking weathered stuff Tops of things is what you look at a lot, um, and I got the, the idea to do this video. Uh, a buddy of mine's KB. Uh, he had commented on one of the other videos, and we had been going back and forth on Facebook, and so I was just like, "Yeah, that's, that's a good uh, thing to make a video on." Is how to weather the roof of a box car, and uh, here we are. And then here's just, you know, standard, I guess, practice with a sponge, you know, uh, 
I, I tried to stay within the dark areas though of that spray paint with the dark rust color and so now I'm using that um, small makeup brush to kind of fade out from the bigger uh, I guess markings or rust spots that the uh, other sponge created so those are the two different types of sponges and I'll pop some links up here to some of my other how-to videos but literally the last video I did we kind of discussed a little bit about different sponges and stuff like that but um, for the reason uh, I wanted to do this one because I, I love the layering and then how other materials as far as uh, powders and all that stuff you create in layers here right and, and that's the thing you know you have to take your time when you're doing weathering like there you just can't rush it and I mean, I guess you can, but that's totally up to you. But I just personally feel like, you know, weathering should not be rushed. If you need to do one car per week or, heck, one car per month, then if that's how long it takes you. That's just how long it takes you. But take your time and layer. It's, it's literally all about the layers. And however fast you can get done, that's on you, but... Here I went to my trusty oils, you know. I just got a toothpick and, you know, the roof and oils can be tricky. Not the roof per se, but, you know, you want to use a, a dab of oil um, and then you can always add more, you know. Um, now, oils are forgiving, so if you do put too much, you can add a little bit more uh, thinner to kind of get rid of it but you know it's always wise I guess to start off with just a little dab of oil <clears throat> but again it's just layering layering and more layering and so now this is probably the funnest part out of this whole weathering process if you will is I'm using uh, powders and I'm mixing it with that again dark rust paint um, that powder mixture is I think black and maybe just some brown that I had some older powders and I just mixed it I made a mixture that I really like and uh, I'm creating almost like a mud like a thin mud consistency I don't want it to be too thick um, because I'm still trying to stay within the HO scale realm, if you will. Um, you can get away with some really big, you know, shapes and stuff with HO scale. You can get away with probably a lot more forgiving with smaller shapes. And when I say shapes, I mean like the dots um, that you are creating with these sponges and with um, ratty. Uh, paint brushes you can't go too big because then it's going to look a little out of scale and so that's why I am just kind of uh, making like a light mud to where it's a little watery but not very thick and um, again just sticking within that dark area of the very first layer of that airbrush and uh, just kind of fading out into you know some of that silver looking stuff and the lighter dusty colors but I'm I'm literally just hanging around in that darker area so um, it's just a quick you know this I don't know maybe took me a couple hours to do this and that's because you know I had to set up the camera stop filming set up the camera so I probably could have got it done within an hour or so but and yeah, here, here's the uh, finished roof. You know, once I zoom in here, you can kind of see what I was talking about as far as the layering. And then it really looks like, you know, you can rub your finger on there and feel that gritty rust, the bubbly stuff and the chipping and all that, you know, that you've created with all these different layers. So what we got like one, two, three, four, probably about five or six different layers going on here. 
but yeah, I hope this helps somebody, man. You know, I appreciate y'all for always checking me out and hanging out. So uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Peace. And that was the roof of a box car. It's just a typical uh, rail box. Athern, I think is the, the company. It's one of those prime for grime. So it's already like lightly faded in the uh, trucks. As I'm looking over here now, the trucks are kind of already faded as well. And it's just a good little box car that's halfway done, if you will. Um, but it was a fun piece. I really love weathering. I love putting all those different layers on top. Uh, like I said, it was probably like what we did, the salt, the airbrush, and I think I did two actual uh, coats of two different colors actually on, on the airbrush. We'll just say airbrush one, paint, oils. So we're up to four uh, and powders. And then I, I did a little extra. I don't think I recorded some of that stuff, but there's probably six layers of um, product on top of that roof. And, and again, the main key is take your time, no rush, and, and you can do this. This is, I'm not gonna say it's like super easy. Um, it, it takes patience more than anything. So, but yeah, get you a box car, try it out. Let me know what you did. Um, and if you got any other suggestions on videos, you want to see me do something, uh, feel free to, to write it down in the comments below. Um, share the video again, like comment, all that stuff. I want to thank my Patreons. Y'all, y'all are the best. I really appreciate y'all for even still just hanging with me on that end while I get some stuff squared away. Uh, but yeah, what else? I believe that's it. Check out some other videos I got. I think I'm gonna link the, the whole how-to series up here somewhere, one of the sides. Check that stuff out. Got some good stuff there. And uh, I'll see y'all next week.